let's talk about cached pages and how they relate to indexation, as well as some of the things that we can derive from search operators. So when a page or site is crawled by a search engine, uh, the page attributes are recorded and indexed. So here we have an example of a page, and when the search engine crawls this page, it's going to record things like the page title, and it's going to look at the images, <clears throat> maybe follow through different internal and external links and h tags, etc. But it's also going to look at a ton of other attributes associated with that page, including things like how fast did it load, uh, some sense of whether or not it has any security certification, are there social buttons, how easy is it to read, text size, etc. Um, this is often said to be 200 or more uh, ranking signals that are that are collected by the search engine when indexing a page. So all of that is stored in a storage center, and we would call that the index for the search engine. Well, what can we know about the indexed pages that the search engine has about our site or our customer site? Well, we can get a sense of what pages are in the index for a site by using this search operator. We're gonna look at a couple search operators here. The first one is going to be site colon. So if you use site colon with no space and then your website, what you'll get is you'll get all of the results that the search engine has for that site, or at least close to it. It's, it's directional in nature. It's not gonna be 100% accurate, but it's gonna be directional in nature. It should be somewhere close to the number. So here we can see that when we do the moz.com site and say site colon moz.com, put that in the search engine, we've now instructed the search engine to just show us pages that it has on the site. And so we can see this number here, 45,900. That would represent how many pages meet this criteria that are in the index. This is not the same as saying how many pages are actually on the Moz.com site. This is just the number of pages that the search engine has in its index. This might be a number that is smaller than the total number of pages, or it might be a number that is bigger than the total number of pages, and both of those would be things that we want to try to understand why that's the case. These pages that it has in the index are referred to as cached pages. So let's look at an example of what a cached page is. We can see any given page for its cached version. So imagine that you have uh, a blog or a page on a website. In this case, it's a Wikipedia page. And that page has been changed. So you update the picture or you update the text on the page. Just because you update the page on your site doesn't mean that the search engine has updated that same page in its index. If it hasn't crawled the site recently, it will not display the information associated with that new updated page. So if we want to see what is the cached version, that is, uh, show me the page that you have in your index versus the one that is maybe live, how do I see that? Well, we can use this example here with a Wikipedia page. So let's go ahead and take this URL for this Wikipedia page, and then we're going to add the search operator cache, cache colon, and then the URL. When I add the search operator cache colon and a URL after it, what that delivers me is this version. So you'll see that there is a, a little bar across the, or a little tray across the top of the, the page now. This says, this is Google's cached version of the URL snapshot of the page as it appeared with the date and time when it was crawled, current page, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> and then you can see these three uh, items underneath it. Full version, text only version, or view source. So in this case, full version is bolded. That means we are viewing the full version, although we could look at the text only version or view source. So the important thing to think about with these three options is that when a search engine uh, crawls your page, it does not render it in a browser, at least not on mobile, or uh, with mobile this might be different. However, often with desktop, it is not rendering it in a browser. It's just reading the code. So when we want to actually see what the version of the page that the search engine sees, quote unquote, when it crawls the page, we'd want to look at this. We'd want to look at the view source. 
okay? And what this is gonna show us is it's gonna show us this. This is the code of the page. And it's just showing us um, how the search engine would view that. So the important thing to think about here, and you'll often hear this in discussions, is that because it's not being loaded in a browser, it may not show things like JavaScript. So if you have JavaScript on your site, the cached version or what's being recorded by the search engine may not include things that are enabled by JavaScript.